evening, everyone. I am Varian Walton. Not only am I a proud board member of the Bessie Smith Cultural Center, I am a dedicated member of the pageant committee. We are made up of a faithful few, and my goodness, I don't think we were ready for what we were dealt in 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I definitely want to take this time to welcome you to our first ever Miss Bessie Smith pageant 2020 virtually. This, folks, as we said, has been a long time coming. Tonight's event is definitely going to look a little different than what we're used to. Tonight, the five contestants who are competing are doing it without an actual audience, but you know what? They have their core cheerleaders with them, their family unit, who's cheered them on since birth. As we continue to find our way through this COVID season, a season that has interrupted life as we knew it, it's so important for us to continue to keep everyone safe. I'm glad to see that everyone is still social distancing and that we're putting safety first. As you all know, this pandemic has robbed these young women of so much of the milestones of their lives. Many of them didn't make it to their junior or senior prom. Some even missed their high school graduations. That was why it was so important to them to continue to press their way through to this particular event so that they could compete for this Covenant Award. Last year, many of you remember, we roared things in with the Roaring Twenties with our flapper dresses as we honored Bessie's blues. Tonight, as you can see, many of us are decked out in our African attire from daishikis to kente cloths to our African garb because tonight we're honoring Bessie's roots. As we get back to Betsy's roots, it's also a time for us to recognize and honor Betsy Smith's living descendants. That's right, the Empress of Blues has a living granddaughter by the name of Beverly Ann Clark, along with her great-grandson, Kevin Clark, both live in Maryland. Tonight, folks, we're only minutes away from crowning a new Miss Betsy Smith with this scholastic pageant and let me just say, the young woman who is selected tonight will not only honor, carry, and represent the life, spirit, and legacy of Miss Betsy Smith, she will do so in Hamilton County and throughout the Tennessee Valley. Are we ready to get started? All right. It is my distinct honor to introduce your Master of Ceremony. Your booklet tells you more about who Greg Fundenberg is, but I want to tell you what I know about this young man who came on the scene back in 2013. He has taken this city, this region, by storm with his caring heart. Anytime there is something that's going on anywhere in Hamilton County and throughout the Tennessee Valley, Greg is there. He's there because he's dedicated, he's determined, and more importantly, he's dependable. We have had so many false starts because of COVID, but each and every time, Greg Funderburg did not hesitate in saying, I'll be right there. COVID has not stopped this pageant, and it definitely will not stop this young man who continues to wake us up each morning. Most of you recognize him as Greg from News Channel 9's Good Morning Chattanooga and Fox Chattanooga, but I recognize him as a beloved member of this community who's always willing to say yes, and more importantly, you would be hard pressed to find another local personality who is as dedicated as Greg Funderburg. I think it's safe to say that he is definitely a friend of this cultural center, and you'll see him beyond tonight as well. A few other things I want you to know about Greg, in addition to being a gracious host, he is a member of CALTHA, Kappa, rather, Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Greg is a distinct graduate. He has a communications degree from the great school of the University of Montevallo. And the other thing that I want you to know about Greg, he has a heart as big as Montana. Please welcome my friend, 
your master of ceremony tonight, Greg Funderburg of News Channel 9. Thank you so much, Barry, and thank you all for being here tonight for this virtual, virtual pageant. It has been a year of the toilet paper. I hear pine saw is a new thing that can cure coronavirus, not cure it, but can also fight the virus on surfaces. So we've learned so much about this year. So again, thank you guys for being here on such a crazy year of 2020. But we are so excited because we're going to crown the next person who will be Miss Bessie Smith 2020, going into 2021. So we're going to kick things off tonight and we're going to introduce the contestants. So all of the contestants, please make your way to the stage. everyone. My name is Anaja Normie. I am a graduate of the Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences. I am the daughter of Latoya Oliver and Paul Norman. I was currently a member of the National Honor Society, National Achievers Society, Paideia Society, the Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy, as well as an eight plus year member of the Girl Scout Troop, while also being a three plus year member of the Brainerd High School Marching Band. Again, my name is Anaja Norman, and I am contestant number two. Thank you. Habari Iyajoni. That means good evening in Swahili. My name is Moniste Cardell, the named after my great-grandmother, Idel Moniste Sanderfer. I am the proud daughter of Mr. William and Valicia Cardell, and I attend Chattanooga High School Center for Creative Arts, where I maintain a 3.85 GPA, and as a vocal major and piano minor, I'm a member of the National Honor Society, National Achiever Society, and I frequently volunteer in a subsidiary of Girls Inc. called Impact. I'm your contestant number three, Moniste Cardell. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. I am the proud daughter of Tari Moore and the late Alicia Moore, and I attend Tyner Academy where I am a junior. I am a member of the Tyner Rams cheerleading team, as well as the Beta Club, Debate Team, Mock Trial, National Achiever Society, and Delta Gems. I am ranked currently number one in my classroom with my cumulative GPA being a 4.0. Once again, I am Kaylee Moore, contestant number four, and I hope you all will enjoy this lovely event this evening. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm contestant number five, Felicia Williams. I am a junior at Brainerd High School where I'm a member of the National Beta Club, the National Honor Society, and a member of the basketball team. I am also a member of the Delta Gems. I am the daughter of Lori Walker and Charles Williams and the proud granddaughter of Daphne Moore and the late Robert Walker. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Raquel Crutcher. I attend Hickson High School as a senior, class of 2021. I'm a member of the basketball team and the volleyball team and track. I'm the daughter of Lawanza Crutcher, Nikia Carter, and stepdaughter of Daphne Sargent. I'm a part of the National Honor Society program and the SHP Sports Team Performance Program at Hickson High School. Thank you, contestant number six.
ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your contestants for Miss Bessie Smith 2020. Before we get to our Miss Bessie Smith 2019, I do want to recognize, you may realize we are missing contestant number one, Jalea Pierce. Jalea is serving our country right now. She just finished basic training and she is in the United States Navy and she is in San Antonio right now and she is working in the health profession within the United States Navy. Give Jalea a hand and we're praying for her safe return to come back home and visit very soon. Again, Julia, we love you and we care so dearly for you and thank you for your service to our country. At this time, let's welcome to the stage Miss Bessie Smith, 2019, Anaya Nelson. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourself during this unfortunate pandemic. I am Anaya Nelson. Miss Bessie Smith, 2019, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much, Anaya, and we'll be hearing Anaya's amazing voice. Coming up later on in the show, she has two amazing songs. She's a student at Center for Creative Arts, and she is also just doing some amazing things. We're going to hear about how her amazing year has gone as Miss Bessie Smith with an extension of about six extra months because of the pandemic. But again, Anaya, we're so grateful for your service to the Bessie Smith Cultural Center as well as to the city of Chattanooga. As we move along tonight with our program, we are so excited to introduce to you our amazing judges. First up, we have First Lady Cynthia Adams of Olivet Baptist Church, where she stands with her husband, Bishop Kevin L. Adams Sr., faithfully serving God and ministering to the growing flock of the church. She was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and received a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice from the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga in 1992. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for First Lady Cynthia Adams. Next up tonight, we have Mrs. Elizabeth Appling. She is employed at Erlanger Health System as the Chief Diversity Officer. She is married to James Appling. She is currently serving as the third Vice President of Membership with the National Coalition of 100 Black Women of Chattanooga. She also serves on the Bessie Smith Culture Center Board of Directors as the Secretary. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mrs. Elizabeth Appling. Next up tonight with our judges, Mr. Maurice Lewis. He is a multiple award-winning journalist in the communications categories of television, radio, and cable with 50 years in this profession. In retirement, Mr. Lewis is the executive producer and host of Point of View. He serves on the Bessie Smith Culture Center Board of Directors. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Maurice Lewis. And finally tonight, Ms. Dr. Jeff Rector. Dr. Rector is employed with the Public Education Foundation. He is the director of the Step Up Chattanooga program and business manager. Dr. Rector is married to Melita and they have one daughter. He serves on the Bessie Smith Board of Directors. He received his doctor of education from the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Jeff Rector. We're so gracious to have two amazing tally persons tonight. First up, we have Ms. Trinace Buchanan. She's a retired educator from Hamilton County Schools where she served for 32 years as a teacher and retired as a principal. A graduate of the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga and a proud member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, she enjoys serving and volunteering in her community. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ms. Trinace Buchanan. Also tonight we have Melita Rector. She is married to Dr. Jeff Rector. They have one adult daughter, Danielle. She is currently a certified administrative professional and is employed at the University of Tennessee Chattanooga at UTC. Melita serves as serves rather on several committees. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Melita Rector. As we move along tonight, it is now time for our casual wear competition. First up is contestant number two. As contestant number two is making her way to the stage for the casual wear, we do want to let you know tonight that the winner of Miss Bessie Smith, the second runner-up will win $500. The first runner-up will win $750. And the winner of Miss Bessie Smith Scholarship 2020 will win $1,000. 
So give it up to all of the contributors and all the folks who make this possible for the Miss Bessie Smith 2020. Also give a shout out to all the parents and folks here tonight. Give yourselves a hand for this virtual pageant. We really do appreciate it. And we'll get the casual wear competition started right now. First up we have contestant number two, Anija Norman. Actually, that's not a Nigel. We're going cool, out to do some more ad-libbing. My name is Greg Funderburg, and I'm so glad to be here tonight. And I do want to introduce to you, give it up for David Moore, my friends. David Moore in the back. David Moore is celebrating 41 years at WDEF, CBS 12, here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. He is doing the videography for us tonight. And all of this is going to be posted up on the Bessie Smiths page. David has done some extraordinary things. He's worked with so many young people in this industry and helped mold so many journalists. And did you know a little known fact for Chattanooga? You know, Good Morning America runs on ABC and we have a great person, Lara Spencer. Lara Spencer started her career right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee and David Moore worked with her at Channel 12. That's amazing, right? Just look for Greg Funderburg on Good Morning America one day. We're gonna put that in the atmosphere. We're gonna continue tonight with contestant number two, Anija Norman. Anija is the daughter of Mrs. Latoya Oliver and Mr. Paul Norman. She has one sister. She attends Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences where she is a graduating senior. Anija is a member of so many different organizations which include the Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy, National Society for High School Scholars, Urban League Achievers, and Brainerd High School Marching Band. And her favorite subject is English. She is a proud member of Inner Peace Church. Her future goal is to attend college and receive her Bachelor of Science degree. Her motto is, mistakes aren't setbacks, but stepping stones guiding you through life. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Anija Norman. Next up tonight is contestant number three, Moniste Cardell. She is a daughter of Mr. and Mrs. William Cardell and granddaughter of Mrs. Veronica Jones and Mr. James Standifer. She has two siblings. She attends Chattanooga Center for Creative Arts where she is a junior. Things happen, my friend, just keep going. She's working it there tonight. Give it up for Monice tonight. She is a proud member of the National Honor Society, Impact, National Achiever Society, and her favorite subject is pre-calculus. She is a proud member of Hawkinsville Baptist Church. Her future goal is to attend Howard University and major in psychology and become a clinical, a clinical psychologist. Her biggest motto is, I am a strong, independent black woman and I can overcome any obstacle in my way. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, Monice Cardell. Next up tonight, contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. Kaylee is the daughter of Ms. Mr. Tyree Moore and the late Alicia Moore, and the granddaughter of Mrs. Patricia, Patricia Moore. She has 10 siblings. She attends Tyner Academy, where she is a sophomore with a 4.0 GPA. Kaylee is a proud member of the debate team, Beta Club, Mock Trail, also cheerleader and ambassador for the Teaching and Learning Institute at Tyner, and her favorite subjects include math and science. She's a proud member of Real Life Ministries. Her future goal is to become a valedictorian for her class of 2020, excuse me, 2022 that is. And she wants to attend Duke University or Howard University and major in political science or nursing and become an OBGYN or even the first female governor of the great state of Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. Next up tonight is contestant number five, Felicia Williams. Felicia is the daughter of Lori Walker and granddaughter of Mrs. Daphne Moore and the late Charles Williams. She has nine siblings. Felicia attends Brainerd High School, where she is a junior. She is a member of the National Beta Club, National Honor Society, Voices of Fire Choir, and also Delta Gems. Her favorite subject is chemistry. She is a proud member of Inner Peace Church, her future goal is to attend Spelman College and become a pediatrician. Her favorite scripture is Psalms 139, 139th chapter and 14th verse. I am fearfully and wonderfully made and that my soul knoweth right well. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five, Felicia Williams. 
Next up tonight, contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. Raquel is the daughter of Mr. Lawanza Crutcher, Ms. Nakia Carter, and stepmother, Ms. Daphne Stargent. She attends Hickson High School where she is a junior. She is a proud member of the basketball team, volleyball team, fellowship of Christian athletes, sports human performance, and her favorite subject is English. She's a member of St. Mary's CME Church where she is the president of the Christian Youth Fellowship. Her future goal is to attend the University of Knoxville or University of Georgia to become a, pedi a physical therapist or athletic trainer. Her goal is to do a lot of great things in life and accomplish all of her dreams. Her motto is, don't take life too serious because it's already too short. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. And that does it for the casual wear competition. At this time, we're gonna have a song by Miss Bessie Smith, 2019, Anaya Nelson. I'm caught up in the 
rapture of love Nothing else can compare When I feel the magic of you The feeling's always new I'm caught up in the rapture of you I... Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Bessie Smith, 2019 Anaya Nelson. Isn't she talented, my friends? She is. Speaking of talent, it is now time for the talent competition of Miss Bessie Smith Scholarship Pageant 2020. First up, we have contestant number two, Anija Norman. She will perform a contemporary dance piece of a song by a song called Young People Crying. She selected this song because young people need to be heard and it shows a different side of who she is as a dancer. Her favorite color is blue. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Anija Norman. God, you said that in the last days you shall pour your spirit upon all flesh. You said that the young people shall prophesy. And God, the young people need you like never before. For the enemy is on attack. So now, God, I pray against all type of gun violence. I pray against the shootings that's in our schools. We will not give in, God, to suicidal thoughts. We will not give in until what the enemy has to offer. We will not give in until the plans of the enemy. But God, we stand and we say we will be holy. We will keep our bodies pure. We will keep our bodies pure. We'll keep our minds pure. In the name of Jesus, we will not give in to drugs. We will not give in to drinking. We will not give in to smoking. But God, we will stand for holiness. We will stand for what's right. So God, we cry out, purify us, Lord. Purify us, Lord. Sanctify us. Cleanse us, God. We want to be holy. We want to be like you, Lord. We want to be like you, Lord. We cry out today. We give ourselves to you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number two, Anija Norman. Next up tonight, we have contestant number three. And before we get to contestant number three, I do want to remind you that the second runner-up will win $500, that person that's crowned tonight. First runner-up will get $750 in crash cash, and the winner of Miss Bessie Smith 2020 will get $1 thousand dollars and again we want to give a shout out to Tyler Broom he is our official photographer tonight he's helping out on the stage right now give it up for Tyler and the hard work that he's doing 
check him out on social media. It's Tyler Broom Photography. He's doing some amazing work here in our city of Chattanooga. And we do want to again thank Tyler for his service to the Miss Bessie Smith pageant tonight. Now that the piano is in place for this next contestant, let's welcome to the stage contestant number three, Monise Cardell. She will play the piano. Her song is titled Tidings of Comfort and Joy, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. She loves to play the piano and she think it is, she thinks rather it's a beautiful instrument and she says that she is really good at it. And I can tell you early in rehearsal, she is extraordinary. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number three, Monise Cardell. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number three, Monice Cardell. Also tonight, we do want to let you know that Miss Bessie Smith 2020 will actually carry the crown a little extra time as Anaya has carried the crown a little extra due to 2020. So there will not be a Miss Bessie Smith pageant in February of next year. So the person that's crowned tonight will have the crown until February of 2022. So again, we wanna thank whoever that person is for her service, because she's gonna have an extra time, some extra time I should say, with the crown. And again, thank you all for being here to support this pageant tonight. And again, we're looking forward to so many wonderful things for Anaya. She is preparing to graduate from a Center for Creative Arts coming up in a few months, and it's gonna go by really fast. So we're looking forward to what she's gonna do and all the great things that she's gonna do. And also, so proud of her and what she's accomplished for this year as Miss Bessie Smith 2019. Next up in our talent competition tonight, we have contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. She will perform a praise dance to the song You Don't Know. Kaylee selected this song because she has been through so much at such a young age, from losing her mother at the age of 13 and having major back surgery the exact same year. She says, by the grace of God, she is still here and you don't know her story. Well, tonight, you're gonna to get to feel and see what she has to give on the stage when it comes to the talent competition. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. You don't know what I've been through. Let me share my story with you All the things that he brought me through The stormy days and my rainy days You don't know all the tears I've cried The things I've kept Bottled up inside Trying 
my best to be strong Waiting on God and holding on You don't know what I had to endure And you wonder why I'm so sure Cause my father never lets me down Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. Next up tonight, we have contestant number five, Felicia Williams. Tonight, Felicia will sing I Won't Go Back by William McDowell. Felicia chose this song because she says it brings her out of her comfort zone, and also her favorite color is purple. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number five, Felicia Williams. How many of y'all know that you don't want to go back to the past that you had and you would like to stay in the future? Well, I've learned my lesson to stay in the future. I've been changed, healed, freed, delivered. I found joy. In favor, see I've been changed, healed, freed, delivered, see I've found joy, peace, grace. In favor, see right now, right now is the moment, today is the day, I've been changed, I've been changed, I have waited for this moment to come, and I won't let it pass me by see i won't i won't go back i can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back i can't go back 
to the way you used to be before your presence came and changed me all my shame guilt sins forgiven see no more chains fear my past is over sing right now right now is the moment today is the day i've been changed i've been changed i have waited for this moment to come and I won't let it pass me by. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number five, Felicia Williams. Next up tonight, we have contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. Raquel will perform a contemporary dance by Beyonce, Pretty Hurt. Raquel has always like to dance because she says it is fun to dance. Her favorite color is turquoise. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. Uh Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. And that wraps up our talent portion. We're going to move along tonight. We're going to move along to the evening wear portion of the competition. After the evening wear competition, we're going to have some remarks by Mrs. Rashid and Mrs. Paula. And then after the remarks, we're going to have the final walk by Miss Bessie Smith. 2019, are you guys ready for the evening wear competition? This is also the onstage questions as well. As the ladies are making their way up to the top of the stairwell for the evening wear portion of the competition, we do want to remind you that we're going to crown the spirit of Miss Bessie 2020. We're also going to announce winners in the casual wear competition, as well as the talent evening wear and on stage question. Tonight, the second runner up will get $500. First runner up will get $750. And the winner, Miss Bessie Smith, 2020 will get a $1,000 cash, cash prize. Can't speak that tonight. 
All right, as we move along tonight, are you ready for the evening wear portion of the competition? And here we go for the evening wear portion of the competition. Our first contestant, contestant number two, Anija Norman. Anija is the daughter of Mrs. Latoya Riley Oliver and Mr. Paul Norman Jr. Anija is, an, is set to achieve so many goals and conquer so many things in life. She has plans to go off to college and do some amazing things. Anija gets question number one, and that is, Anija, what have you learned about yourself during the COVID-19 crisis? Okay, first I would like to say that during this COVID-19 crisis, I have learned a tremendous lot about myself. I have learned that patience is key. Isolation is sometimes needed, um, self-care, being able to self-reflect are things that you need in order to strive and sort of in order to achieve your goals. And I just feel like from this COVID-19 process, everybody's learned to be selfless. Everybody's learned to take others into consideration. We've learned to just put ourselves to the side and think about the others that we have at home. And just to be kind to one another and be patient. And things take time because this COVID-19 is not over, but we're still pushing through. And so we just say, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Anija Norman. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, contestant number three, Monice Cardell. Monice is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. William Cardell. Moni's ambition is to graduate high school and attend Howard University in Washington, D.C. and major in psychology. Monice, you get question number two tonight. So what does it mean to you to possibly have a female vice president in 2021? Wow, thank you. That is a wonderful question. A female vice president. And not only that, but an African-American female vice president opens up a world of hope and opportunity for change. Having someone in the White House 580 miles away doesn't mean much. However, having someone in there who understands your struggle, your fear, your frustrations, your anger, who understands the perspective of the black woman, that is life-changing. To see someone so similar to you ready to change history, ready to show other girls of color that they can make real change. That is what a female vice president in 2021 means to me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number three, Monice Cardell. Next up tonight, we have contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. Kaylee is the daughter of Mr. Tyree Moore and the late Alicia Moore. Kaylee's ambition is to become a politician, and she said earlier she would like to be the first female governor of Tennessee, or she would like to be an OBGYN because her mother was a nurse.
Kaylee, tonight you get question number one. What have you learned about yourself during the COVID-19 crisis? Thank you for that question, Mr. Greg. Throughout this coronavirus quarantine, I've learned so much about myself. I've learned how to do time management once I've made myself become have a job in the fast food restaurant. I learned how to do time management and learned how to do things and separate things to accomplish my goals and my dreams as a whole. This summer I learned great things about myself. I learned how well I engage with others and how I need to change my schedule when things like this, like the coronavirus, actually happens. It taught me what to do throughout a crisis and what would you do and how would you do it throughout a crisis. Throughout this coronavirus, it was a tough time and it was hard to adjust, but it learned, I learned so much within myself where now I will be able to do anything, anywhere. Thank you so much, Mr. Greg. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. Next up tonight in the evening wear and onstage question category of the competition, contestant number five, Felicia Moore. Felicia is the daughter of Mrs. Daphne Moore and the late Robert Walker. Felicia's ambition is to become a pediatrician one day. Tonight, Felicia, you get question number one. What have you learned about yourself during the COVID-19 crisis? During the COVID-19 crisis, I've learned that there has been a lot of different things happening here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. During the COVID-19, I had the opportunity to go out and feed the homeless and the less fortunate. During also, I also had the opportunity to go out and speak to others about COVID-19. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five, Felicia Moore. Next up tonight, as we continue the evening wear and on stage question part of the competition, we have contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. Raquel is the daughter of Mr. Lawanza Crutcher and Miss Nakia Crutcher, excuse me, Nakia Carter, excuse me. Raquel ambition is to become a physical therapist. Tonight, Raquel, you get question number two. What does it mean to you to possibly have a female vice president in 2021? What it means to me to have a possibly female vice president, I think it would be a great opportunity with everything that's going on today in the world is exactly what we need. We need a change. And I think she is the perfect solution for that. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. And that ends the competition for Miss Bessie Smith 2020. Oh. You guys come back out. We're gonna get one more look. Contestant number two, Anija Norman. <laughs> Next up, contestant number three, Monice Cardell. Contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. Contestant number five, Felicia Williams. And finally, contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll find out who will be the next Miss Bessie Smith in just a few moments. Give it up for these young ladies. They have worked so hard and it has been delayed since February. By the way, did you guys enjoy the snow in February when we were supposed to have the pageant? Yeah, it was really quick, right? 
Again, thank you guys so much for your hard work. We'll find out who the next Miss Bessie Smith is in just a moment. Ladies, you can enjoy a few minutes of to let your hair down and just take a deep breath. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in just a moment. As we continue this evening, and we're going to tally up the scores, let's bring to the stage Miss Bessie Smith, 2019, Anaya Nelson. She is going to sing a beautiful song for you tonight. She is a student at Center for Creative Arts. And as she makes her way to the stage, I do want to say I am so proud of Anaya and all the things she's accomplished this year as Miss Bessie Smith. She has traveled all around this city. She's done some amazing things. And you know, I remember the night when she was first crowned, she was looking at me, she said, Greg, do I really have to go do interviews right now? I said, yeah, once the crown goes on your head, you gotta move on and do this and that. And so, so much that happens leading up to the, the pageant. So ladies and gentlemen, let's bring up to the stage, Miss Bessie Smith, 2019, Anaya Nelson. She'll be here in just a second. As we move along tonight, again, I just want to say thank you guys for coming out. Give a shout out to our judges. Thank you to our judges, our tally persons here tonight. You guys are simply amazing. And now, please welcome Miss Anaya Nelson. Good afternoon. I'm going to be singing Is There Anybody Here? Arranged by Roland Carter. Is there anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves my Lord? I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know if you love my Lord. Is there anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves my Lord? I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know if you love my Lord. When I was blind and could not see, King Jesus brought the light to me. And when every star refused to shine, I know King Jesus will be mine. Is there anybody here who loves my Jesus? Anybody here who loves my Lord? I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know if you love my Lord. Oh, brethren, this world is a wilderness of woe. So let us all to glory go. Yes, religion is like a blooming rose. And none but one who feels it knows that. None but the righteous, none but the righteous, none but the righteous shall see God. Is there anybody here who loves my Jesus? Say amen if you love my Lord. I want to know if you love my Jesus. I want to know if you love my Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Bessie Smith. 2019, Anaya Nelson, and Anaya will be back on the stage to give up the crown in just a few moments. But before we get to that, we want to have some remarks tonight by Mrs. Christy Rashid. She is the pageant director, along with Mrs. Paula Wilkes. She is the president executive director here at the Bessie Smith Cultural Center. And as the ladies are making their way up to the front, I do want to say again, Thank you to the parents, you guys, and the family members. You have worked so hard with these young people. And I just want to say, to see what they are done on this stage tonight really shows the upbringing and the hard work you guys have put in. And who, can you guys believe it? They'll be going to college soon. It's, it'll be exciting. I remember my mom cried when I went off to college. But, you know, just hold back the tears. Don't let them see you cry. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the fearless leader of this pageant, Miss Christy Rashid. Thank you, 
Greg, I really, really thank you so very much. God is so good. We have worked very hard trying to achieve the goal for this pageant this year. And you never know. You never know God brought us through this point. And I am the pageant organizer. God gave that to me. It's not something that I chose. I ran from it. I did pageants back in the day for young ladies for the NAACP and the United Negro College Fund. So I gave that five or 10 years now. Here I am back again at 67 years old. And this year's theme for the Betsy, if you've noticed, it is Betsy's Roots. And our main focus for our young ladies is a tradition of excellence, dedication to the community, a legacy for tomorrow. I would like to thank Ms. Paula Wilkes, the president here, and the board of directors for permitting us to be, this is our third year. Each year we have had a sellout and God has brought us all the way through. I would like to give a special thank you to our master ceremony, Mr. Greg Funderburg. And to our dedicated parents that brought their young ladies down every Saturday for about 10 weeks and then the snow came. So I just felt that was God's blanketing us and letting us know things were good. Right now, Miss Tennessee, Brianna Mason could not be here tonight. She sends her love and dedication to all. She's been with us every year, but since the change in the COVID, she could not appear. I just want to say thank you to my judges, the tally people, my team, Ms. Gwen Crutcher, if you could come. Varian Walton is somewhere in this building. And Tara Mathis, she's working on her doctorate, so she could not be here with us tonight. We work as a team, and God has brought us together, and you all pray for us that whatever he has for us in 2022, <laughs> that sounds crazy, but uh, we will be able to fulfill, and there will be an activity in 2021 if it's the will of God for young people, but it will not be the Miss Betsy Smith pageant. It will be something else unique, and that would involve all ages of young people here, long as the president gives us permission. At this time, I am turning it over to my dear friend, sister, confident, Paula Wilkes. Again, thank you all for coming, and we say good evening and get ready to crown our new Miss Betsy Smith 2020. Sorry, we're just making sure our Miss Bessie 2019 is ready to come up for her final walk here in a moment. I just want to say thank you for coming tonight and for supporting the Bessie Smith Cultural Center. Without our community, our families, my board of directors, um, the pageant committee, we couldn't do this. Um, this is a fundraiser for us, so we were pleased that the girls sold as many tickets they did and made this a sellout once again. Please support the Bessie in this time of COVID. Many of you may not know, but we have been closed since March the 16th. Um, and being closed for us is detrimental to our finances because we rent the facility and have programs and things going on for the students. So we've had to change how we're doing things. So we've gone to virtual online things for the students in the schools and are getting a new website thanks to the Benwood Foundation. So we'll be able to share more of our exhibit um, we have some amazing things coming up in the next year. We're going to be totally renovating the museum and doing some new technology with kiosk and things such as that so that it'll tell the complete story of African Americans in Chattanooga. So we're very excited to kick that off and have started our fundraising campaign to make that come to fruition. At this time, we're going to show a video and then we will have the final walk of Miss Bessie Smith 2019 and Ian Nelson.
Best thing in the world. That's your part. That's different from you. Brown skin girl. Skin just like pearl. The best thing in the world. They never trade you for anybody else singing brown singing girl. It's gender slut pearl. The best thing in the world. I never trade you for anybody else singing. Okay. Brown skin girl. Your skin just like pearls. The best thing in all the world. I think tonight she might pray her prayer. Too dark to throw her shade. She minds her business and winds her ways. Go like 24 k Okay. Tonight I might fall in love. Depending on how you hold me. I'm glad that I'm calming down. Can't let no one come control me. Keep dancing and call it love. She fighting by falling slowly. If ever you are in doubt, remember what mama told me. Brown skin. Girl, your skin just like pearls. Your back against the world. I never trade you for anybody else. A brown skin girl, your skin just like pearls. The best thing about the world. I never trade you for anybody else. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Wish you could trade eyes with me. There's complexities in complexion, but your skin is glow like diamonds. Every time someone asks me about the pageant, they're like, well, how was your year? And I get a little tripped up because it's hard to pick one experience from a whole 12 months of amazing and unbelievable experiences, don't you think? It has already been 12 whole months since I have stood on this stage and received my title. And I never would have thought that being Miss Betsy Smith 2019 would influence my life so heavily. That sash and that crown just doesn't represent me. And it just doesn't represent the culture center either. It represents us as a community. And I was so honored to be that representative for you. Not only did this experience teach me which spoon I should use to eat my soup with, but it also taught me that I am not just Anaya Nelson. I am the Anaya Nelson, who is a strong, intelligent, independent African-American woman. And I should be proud of that. And I don't think I've ever embraced who I was as a person as much as I do now. And I think that it's all thanks to the amazing people who are on top of the pageant and stuck with me. Gonna fall in love with you and all of your glory. Your skin is not only dark, it shines and it tells your story. Keep dancing, they can't control you. They watch and they all adore you. If ever you are in doubt, remember what mama told you. Brown skin girls, your skin just like pearls. You're back against the world. I never tried you for anybody else. Anaya has had an amazing year as Miss Bessie Smith 2019 and an extended year. She is about to get ready to graduate high school very soon and preparing to go off to her next chapter in college. And we are so proud of all of the hard work she has done for 
this entire year. Miss Anaya Nelson, what has it been like being Miss Bessie Smith 2019? It's honestly just been an amazing experience being able to engage with the community of everyone in Chattanooga and being able to meet and connect with so many great people, especially this one right here. Um, I've just developed so many great connections with people, especially my connection with Miss Tennessee. And honestly, just all in all, it's just been a great experience. You know, speaking of that experience, we have a little bit of time here while they're tattling the scores. I have to ask you, the night you were crowned, I remember you were crowned and I came over with a camera in your face with the Channel 9 microphone and you kind of looked at me like, okay, what's going on? What was that like for you? So you, what advice do you have for the next girl who is crowned tonight, Miss Bessie Smith 2020? Honestly, I just say smile and just wave. That's really all I can say because you just the shock from just everything it's just kind of overwhelming but at the same time I feel like you'll, you'll understand and you're a student at Center for Creative Arts so Center for Creative Arts right oh my gosh you're already in college she's in college she's growing up I didn't even realize it how is Alabama A&M um, currently I'm doing strictly online and I'll probably be on campus next school year but I'm studying in mechanical engineering on a full academic scholarship they grow up fast I didn't realize she was already off to college so what has it been like being a virtual student in college during this whole COVID season it takes a lot of strength and mental capacity to like be able to pay attention and focus because you have so many distractions from being at home and being able to play the game or be on your phone and really it just I've been learning a lot about myself as a learner to make sure that I'm doing what I'm doing to make sure that I keep my grades up and I pay attention in class. So you know I am from Alabama my niece goes to Alabama State University it's a big rival the Magic City Classic what has it been like for you to experience the culture in Alabama um, when you went to tour the school before you decided to go? What was that like when you toured the school of Alabama A&M and picking that university? When I went, it was, it was kind of chilly, so I had to have a, a jacket. I didn't expect it to be chilly because, you know, it's like deeper south, so that was kind of unexpected. I didn't really get to engage in a lot of the culture of Alabama, but I got to engage in a lot of culture of an HCBU itself, especially with the rallies and the stepping, if you know what I mean. So that was a really fun engagement all in all. Sounds good. Give it up for Miss Bessie Smith 2019, Anaya Nelson. And she will be back on stage to crown the next Miss Bessie Smith 2020. And we're going to bring the screen down because you know what? We have, we've had some amazing girls competing for the crown tonight. But you know what? It has been a whole several months and months and months of service and preparing for this moment. And so we're going to take a look back at the hard work they all went through to get to the moment to be right here on the Miss Bessie, Miss Bessie Smith pageant stage for 2020. What a year it has been here at the Bessie Smith Culture Center. And I just want to also say that, as we said earlier, Brianna Mason, Miss Tennessee 2019, was not able to be here with us tonight. And Brianna sends her love, and she says that, you know, she wished she could be here tonight. Also want to let you guys know, Miss Tennessee 2019 actually donated one of her competition gowns and also an official portrait that is going to stay in the State Museum in Tennessee and Nashville for decades and decades until the end of time. And it's going to go along with an exhibit with the former Miss Tennessee 1986 Kelly Cash, who was crowned Miss America in 1987. Now we're going to take a final look at our ladies for the competition tonight as we finish tallying our scores for tonight. Contestant number one, give it up for for Anija Norman. <laughs> Anija is the daughter of Mrs. Latoya Oliver and Mr. Paul Norman, and she has one sister, and she attends Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences, where she is a graduating senior. We are so proud of you, Anija, and good luck tonight. Thank you so much for competing in the competition. Next up, we have contestant number three. We have Monice Cardell. Monice is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. William Cardell and granddaughter of Mrs. Veronica Jones and Mr. James Standifer. 
She has two siblings. She attends Chattanooga Center for Creative Arts, where she is a junior. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Monice Cardell. Next up tonight, we have contestant number four, Kaylee Moore. Kaylee is the daughter of Mr. Tyree Moore and the late Alicia Moore and the granddaughter of Mrs. Patricia Moore. She has 10 siblings and she attends Tyner Academy where she is a sophomore with a 4.0 GPA. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kaylee Moore. Next up tonight, we have contestant number five, Felicia Williams. Felicia is the daughter of Lori w Walker and granddaughter of Mrs. Daphne Moore and the late Charles Williams. She has nine siblings. She attends Brainerd High School where she is a junior. Ladies and gentlemen, contestant number five, Felicia Williams. And finally tonight, we have contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. She is the daughter of Mr. Lawanza Crutcher, Miss Nakia Carter, and stepmother, Miss Daphne Stargent. She attends Hickson High School where she is a junior and she is doing some extraordinary things. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. And those are your contestants. And again, we send our love to Jalea Pierce. She is serving the United States Navy. She's now stationed in San Antonio, Texas. She's working in the health profession. And finally tonight, we are ready to announce the winners. We have Miss Rashid and also we have Miss Wilkes and Mr. Funderburg, they said. Well, <laughs> the moment you all have been waiting for, I tell you, it's very tight, very close to all of the contestants. Oh, Paula's leaving me. She's playing a trick. <laughs> you all have done a great job. I wish you blessings in your future. And now it's time to announce Miss Spirit of Betsy Smith is the young lady who raised the most funds is, y'all want to guess? <laughs> um, hmm. Anijah Norman, contestant number two. Anijah will receive 10% of her earnings that she donated to the Betsy. And uh, as you can see, she's received her roses and her trophy. Each young lady will receive a participation trophy uh, for participating in the pageant. It's a blessing that they've taken time out of their schedules to participate. As Miss Betsy, go ahead and distribute all the participation trophies. Would be awesome. Participation trophies where each young lady will get one. And then they have several gifts. They've been given their backpacks. Matter of fact, they got those on the February 7th at Friday night because we thought we were coming back that Saturday morning, but it didn't happen. Soon as she finishes, uh, Mr. Funderburg, you will announce the uh, actual Miss Betsy Smith this year. That's going to be your title. How about that? It's awesome. Okay, Casual Wear Winter is contestant number six, Raquel Crutcher. Talent winner is contestant, can't tell you, number two, Anaya Norman. Anaya also is our evening wear winter. Anaya, thank you, Mom. On stage, question. Winner is Monice Cordell. Okay. 
Now, this is the great part of it. <laughs> Are you all ready? Okay. Our second runner-up is Raquel Crutcher, contestant number six. Our first runner-up to Miss Betsy Smith scholarship pageant. If Miss Betsy Smith is not able to complete her year, the first runner-up will take the crown and title. Our first runner-up is me. How about that? <laughs> Contestant number three, Monice Cordell. And finally tonight, the winner of Ms. Bessie Smith 2020 will win $1,000 in cash. She will also go home tonight with the job, the title of Ms. Bessie Smith 2020, along with the crown and the sash. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Bessie Smith 2020 goes to contestant number two, Anija Norman. <laughs> I will tell you, as a volunteer with the Miss America system, this part is the hardest part to put these crowns on. There are a lot of pins and a lot of strategic things that happen to get them on. And we are so proud of Anija Norman. She will represent the Bessie Smith Culture Center through February of 2022. She will be making appearances at a number of events and she'll be going around through the city and also making appearances on local television stations and so much more throughout her year as Ms. Bessie Smith Culture Center 2020. I think the crown is secure, ladies and gentlemen. Anija Nelson, take your walk. Ms. Bessie Smith 2020. Anija Norman, again, she is doing some extraordinary things. And we are so, so proud of her and all that she is going to do this year. She is a student at one of our schools here in Chattanooga. I'm going to flip my paper here. She's at Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences, where she is a graduating senior. Anija is a member of a lot of different organizations, Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy, National Society for High School Scholars, and so many other things. Her favorite subject is English. She's also a proud member of the Brainerd High School Marching Band. She's also a member of Inner Peace Church. Her future goal is to attend college and receive her Bachelor of Science degree. Again, congratulations, Miss Bessie Smith, 2020, Anija Norman. And also give it up for the spirit of Miss Bessie 2020. That went to, an, oh, 
congratulations to you, Anija. I just I was looking for the, the sash there. Again, thank you guys so much for coming out. Parents, we have an official photographer, Tyler Broom Photography. He's going to be taking official photos. Ladies, if you guys would stay on the stage, we're going to take some official photos as soon as this wraps up. Again, thank you guys so much for coming, and we'll let you know when everything will air on the Bessie Smith Facebook page for Miss Bessie Smith 2020. And we have some final remarks by Miss Paula. So parents, we wanted to let you know that Tyler is offering professional photos in the atrium. We have a backdrop and everything, and that you will be able to get a digital version of their pictures that are taken out there for $20. You'll have access to those to reprint all you want. So once the girls are through, if they'd like to go to the atrium and have professional photography done, that would be fine. Thank you, Greg, once again. Greg always comes out and supports the Bessie, no matter what, when we call him. David Moore, What's Right With Our Schools, has always got things going for us. The promo video you saw at the end, Tyler Broom did that for us. So we'd like to thank all of our helpers and partners. We couldn't do it without everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Paula and David, celebrating 41 years at WDEF in a couple weeks. I don't know if I can do that long, but, but you know what, my friend? You are the real MVP. Again, give it up for David, David Moore. Ladies, again, congratulations. Thank you guys for your participation. In my book, all of you are winners. Continue to do so much this year in school. I know it's going to look a little differently, but I am so proud of each one of you because I got a chance to see you guys practice on February 7th, and I just can see you guys have grown in the past few months and to the wonderful women that you are. I am so proud of you. Congratulations to you. Thank you to all the parents for your support. And again, thanks to the judges and the tally persons, everyone involved. Thank you so much and good night.